What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Gaming Christian. My name is Losat. This is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. We're now in the catacombs. Let's uh, take a look at our book here of the maps. And this one's always kind of confusing. Sacred to the Roman catacombs. Okay, so this top row, these are the map that we need. And then there's a bottom section. It's, it's kind of confusing, as you can clearly see. But I've got some notes here to help me make this as quick as possible. So we're going to kind of do that. All right, so let's go here. Is he going to go? Jeez. Go here to the this bottom tunnel. All right, so here we are. This looks confusing, but this is Indy right here in an archway. And this is our light source around him. So it's obvious here. So we're just going to walk straight from Indy's perspective we're going to walk straight and just follow the natural thing and here we are in this room with these two guys and we're going to pick up this little hook arm so we got that hook and now we're going to go ahead and go through here alright so we're going to go Dang it. Go, man. Turn right. And then... There we go. Alright, so here's a little torch. It's kind of tough to see, but we want to use our wine on it. Use... Wine bottle. There we go. On the torch. So it loosens up the mud, then we want to pull the torch to open a trap door. Alright, so now we're in the uh the other floor. So we want to go right here. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and go through here into this room. And we want to look at the inscription. Yep, inscriptions here. Look at the inscriptions on the wall. And remember this. What he says here. They're two different things. Welsh verse, Talus, whatever, or Sir Richard Burton's tale is a correct in the account, is correcting out. So the Welsh one or the Sir Richard Burton, but this will be different for everybody. So back in the library, when you, when you uh, look, your, look at your grail, the windows are going to be different for everybody. So that's something that like this little guy can't help you on. You have to find your window in the grail diary. So yours might have the sword over it or whatever. And just like these inscriptions, your inscriptions, let's look at these again. Your inscriptions might be totally different. So mine's the Welsh one or Sir Richard uh, Burton's. Welsh verse, tell us wine or tell us line. Or Eleonora. Richard Burton and Lady Eleonora or whatever. So those are mine. So whatever yours are, make sure you remember them. And we're going to go back out here. And we're going to put the hook up in this. This is like a wooden cork or whatever. We're going to use the hook. Hook. With this wooden plug. And then we're going to use our whip. Use whip the hook. There we go. Alright, so basically what that was, there was, remember, we're in the bottom section of the catacombs, and the upper level of the catacombs, if you decided to just explore, explore around, you would have found a flooded room, and this is basically the water draining from that room that we have to go through. So we're going to move on back to the things. The catacombs. Go left right here. And up this ladder. And 
And now we're going to go through this way here. Once he decides to move. So we want to go just straight on through. There we go. And this is the room that was full of water. And we want to go through this one with the light on it. This doorway here. And, oh man, this is tough to see. Oh, here, this way. Go left. Here we go. Now we want to use the red cord on And this is your clue right here, this little red rope on the floor. This is your clue to use the red cord on. Right here. Oh, here. And then we're going to use this little wheel here. All right, now we can leave. We want to go down and turn up here. And then left again right up here. Come on. And this should take us to another room with a statue in it. Yep, here we go. Okay, so now we want to look at our grail again. Look, the grail. And we should see... Okay, so the configuration is labeled correct. And this one is certain death. So we don't want this. We want this. So I've got um, a dragon, a sword, and a... I don't know, a nun or something. I don't know what that is. Um, and there's a, there's a sequence to them. If you turn... I think the one in the middle, then the one on the left turns once. And if you turn the one on the left, the one on the right turns twice. I think that's how it works. I forget. But either way, you want to do them, do the right one first, and then the left one, and then the middle one. So I want to do a dragon, a nun, and a sword. A dragon. The dragon's already there. Is, it, is that the same one? Uh, look at Grail Diary. And yours will be different too. So whatever. Yeah, I think that's the same one. All right, so I think I just need to turn the left one and the middle one. Yeah, that's the same one. Okay, let's turn the left one. Uh, pull, push, maybe. Um, is that it? That's not it. Push again. That's also not it. Push. He's got a sword. That's definitely it. Yep. Okay, now we want to do the middle one. Push the middle one, and the door should open once we get this middle one done. I need the giant sword. That's it. There we go. Door's open. All right, so here we are here. So let's go down here. Darn it. Go here. And there should be like a big star kind of pattern here. Let's go left here. Yeah, just like a, a crazy crazy pattern on the on the thing, so it kind of goes all the way. Just go all the way to the left. <laughs> there we are. Now here's the this is the bridge that we let down with that machine. Now just walk up. Left. I think it just guides you. Yeah, just keep going left. Yeah. You'll notice when you look at the map, you'll th these will be Easily remembered, these little spines here coming off of the path. And here's the big skeleton room, just kind of go on through. I don't think we need anything here. Just move through here, go up. And then just keep going left. Okay, so here's another part that's going to be relative to you. Let's look at our Grail Diary again. Look at the Grail Diary. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Um, first, Hildegard von Bingen has beautiful music. If you've ever listened to it. I mean, it's not her, of course, because she lived like forever ago. But if you've ever taken a music class and listened to Hildegard von Bingen, she has just some of the most beautiful music. Really haunting, uh, hauntingly beautiful music I've ever heard. But anyway, uh, so this is how it works. It, there's not a six note. There's never been more than six different notes. So, but now we have these six notes down here. And the, the top line 
is going to be your left, I think. Let's look at the skulls. So these are the the musical instruments that we're going to be messing with here. And this one is the bottom line. And this left one is the top line, I believe. Or I've got it backward, one of the two. But let's find out. Let's look at our grill again. Look, grill diary. So we want to go all the way to the right, the, the furthest right skull. So this will be your your first skull. This will be your last skull. <laughs> then we want to skip the fifth and fourth. We're going to go to the third and then the first and then back to the third and then to the sixth. So six, five, four, three, one, three, six. Six, three, one, three, six. Oops. Okay, we want to go push. Sixth, push three, push one, push three, push six. Yes, first try. All right. So yeah, that's all it is. Let's look at this again. I'll show you real quick. The Grail Diary. The This one, the bottom one is furthest to the right. This one is your fifth skull. So some of you might not even have these down here, but you will have them on the rest of the five. So the fifth one is the fifth skull to the right. And then the top one is the furthest skull to the left. Just remember that you'll be fine. So let's go ahead and uh, head out here. All right, this one is kind of easy to get lost in. So we're gonna go down. Okay, well. okay, there's a right path. Go. Go. Okay, this one, I think there's another one. Okay, we want to go right here. And then one more right here, I think. Oh man, I hope this is right. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we want to open... I hate those catacombs. We're going to open the thing. All right, now we're going to look inside. Look. There we go. All right. We got that. And we want to pull on this lock. It's an old rusty lock, so it's no problem. Pull right here. And it's open up for us. We can get out of there. And we can open up the manhole cover. And if you remember seeing that in the beginning of this level, go on up through. And here we are.
house brings back memories. Alright, now we're going to go inside this castle, but I'm going to save that for the next video. This one's been kind of long enough. Those catacombs really can be really confusing. So I will, uh, I'll call this one here. I will see you all in the next video, and until then, have a good day.